Welcome back, folks, to another Budget Gem or Budget Bust. I am here with another Walmart-exclusive budget amplifier. Um, this is the Jensen XDA91RB, and I am excited about getting this one on the amp dyno. Um, why? Well, for starters, this is a 600-watt rated amplifier uh, RMS. Um, it does say 1,200-watt peak on the box. Boo to that, but at least you can find uh, the real ratings on the box. Um, but it's only 98 bucks, and it comes with supposedly a onboard DSP um, built in. Um, also has color changing LEDs, etc. Um, these are the successors of the dual XPR 82 and 84D amplifiers that I tested a couple of years back. Um, which I absolutely thought were fantastic amplifiers for the money. And, you know, I got to give credit to Duel, who's the parent company of Jensen. They said, hold our beers, we got more coming at you. So this is the first, quote unquote, of that line to be offered in a monoblock amplifier through Walmart. So I'm excited to unbox this and see if it lives up to the amplifiers that I tested a couple of years ago. So... Enough of me talking, let's break this into this box and let's see what comes in here for all of your 98 bucks. All right, opening her up. And first thing we get is the owner's manual. Let's see if we can see right there, there's our specifications. Right here, right in the box. I don't know if you can read that or not, but we've got at four ohms, one channel, 240 watts RMS. Uh, 400 watts RMS at 2 ohms and 600 watts RMS at 1 ohm. So it's kind of nice that you see a 1 ohm stable amplifier for under 100 bucks here. Um, now other series in the amps, I have one of these four channels that I'm going to get to eventually in the series. Um, and we know that these ratings were legit on the 2 channel as Big D Wiz just tested one of those out recently. So. Enough of that. What else comes in the box? Get some hardware, Allen keys, some screws, and one Jensen amplifier. Ta da! I'll get it out of the plastic here in a minute, but pretty compact, just like the 82. I mean, look, there's my hand. I can palm this whole thing. 600 watts in the palm of your hand. Pretty sweet here. As long as it does its numbers. Check out the sides of the amp. Okay, on this side of the amplifier, we find our power, ground, and remote input terminals here. So positive, ground, remote, right there. A pair of 25 amp fuses and a pair of summed mono outputs. So just so a reminder to everyone, it doesn't matter which set you hook up, you know, it's, it's the same signal. So you can do one plus here and one minus there. You can do a plus here and a minus there. You can do plus minus, plus minus. It, whichever way you want to do it, it's still going to be the same signal. Nothing's going to change your ohm load except for adding speakers at this point. Along this side of the amplifier, we find our RCA inputs and outputs right here. They're just regular style, no Tiffany RCA connectors, as well as a high input level um, input as well right there. And we also find our controller for our Bluetooth. As you can tell, there's no gain settings uh, on the side of the amplifier or anywhere else. There's no low pass filtering or anything like that. Um, that's basically controlled by a potentiometer. Um, this is 100% Bluetooth for your settings. Um, that's what's gonna allow you to change your um, LED settings and everything else um, on the app as well. And uh, I'll show you that in just a minute here. But if you're still rocking like a jitterbug or something like that, probably not your amp. Um, you got a smartphone, you got a tablet that'll connect via DS or via Bluetooth. Hey, knock yourself out as long as it's uh, Android or Apple. Okay, here's the app for the uh, Jensen amplifier. Um, it, you know, on these monoblock amplifiers, the EQ doesn't actually function, but you'd want to go to your crossover here. Um, this master level, that's actually your gain. So before I do anything, 
please mention that's technically your gain there uh, for the amplifier. And you go over to the crossover here. Um, you can leave bass boost off. Um, this gain is actually the amount of bass boost that you're going to do. Um, here's your crossover. Right now you can see I've got it set to 81. I can do one lower. There's 80 hertz. You can kind of input whatever you want in there. And then you can do your slope um, between 6 dBs all the way to 18 dBs. And see, you can't really do a full range on the app either. Um, so pretty neat um, features there. And of course, this is the nice one here. I'll show you in one second when we change it. So you can see here how the LEDs work. Um, the LEDs are on this side. Might be a little bit difficult to tell. Oh, there we go. Uh, so you can see in there, I've got the blue LED up on the screen. I've just clicked it over to a different color. And you can see we're starting to shift in that direction. So now I'm red. Shade of orange. Bright yellow. Green. Aqua. Darker blue. Maybe I want to do something a little bit in the lighter shade. So kind of hard to see it, but it is definitely a shifting in color. So pretty neat, kind of cool that it's all included in a 98 buck amp. And of course, do a little animation here and let me just turn it off. Pretty cool. Okay, opening her up. And we yeah, have pretty nice looking guts here for a sub hundred dollar amplifier. Everything's that is rock solid in there. That is not that's not moving. So everything looks seated down really, really well. Build quality seems pretty good. Um, these caps here are 80 volt 2200 microfarad 105 degrees. Uh, these are 25 volt uh, 3300 microfarad uh, 105 degrees. Uh, same thing over here. These smaller output filtering caps are uh, 1000 microfarad and 80 volts as well. Uh, all of them are Chang X brand, but ought to be decent. I can't see what the MOSFETs are, but they are very, very nicely well constructed in here. So good job by Jensen, AKA Dual. All right, nothing left to do here, folks, but to strap up the Jensen XDA91RB up to the trusty old amp dyno and find out just how much power this very compact amplifier does. So let's get to it. I'll see you after the test.
Gun, aka Duel, um, they've created an absolute bonkers amplifier again. I mean, think about it. This is 98 bucks. Remember what I said about the engineer or the designer for this amp for the old XPRs? I thought how crazy they were. They came back to the table and they said, Hold my beer. I'm gonna make shit fucking crazier, man. They're like, I'm gonna put a monoblock out there. I'm gonna make the thing do 600 plus watts at one ohm, you know, at 1% THD. Maybe I'll make it go to 800. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe again, on a 600 watt amplifier, I'll throw the four gauge wiring in there. Why not? You know? Let me, let me go crazy. Let me throw some LEDs on there that you can select on your smartphone what color they display. Maybe I'll do that. You know what? Maybe I'll also throw in an onboard DSP since I'm already going to be controlling it with Bluetooth anyway. Why the hell not? <laughs> and then we're going to do 98 bucks. What the, what the fuck, man? I mean, these are crazy deals. I, I really like what Dual has been doing with these Walmart amps. I mean, especially for the, the price to value that you get. Plus, there's the other added feature. Since you can buy it at Walmart, it's always going to have a warranty attached to it. And you can buy an extended warranty for like eight bucks for like multiple years. And you blow it up, you go bring it back and get another one. Stupid. If that's the case, listen, do yourself a favor. Make sure they got some of these extra in stock. Go down to Walmart, buy the extended warranty, bring it home. Let's run this bitch at a quarter ohm and probably see 1200 watts. I don't know. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's crazy, folks. I like it. You know, I, I can't recommend the sound. I'm still giggling about this. I love these little lambs. All right. That's all for me, folks. I'll see you next time. <laughs>